every Spider-Man ever. Amazing Spider-Man number 15. Our story starts with Spider-Man busting a seemingly normal robbery, but the leader of the criminals is actually the Chameleon, who uses disguises to escape. And in his secret apartment, the Chameleon wants to dispose of Spider-Man once and for all, and he knows the perfect man to do it, Craven the Hunter. A week later, Craven is due to arrive in New York City from Africa, and be greeted by the Daily Bugle press team as well as Flash and Liz. For the first time, Betty and Liz meet, and Betty is frosty. Craven arrives by boat and is called handsome and rugged, and then is able to subdue some escaping snakes and a gorilla before Spidey can even get his costume on. When asked who he's here to hunt, Craven answers that he's hunting the most dangerous man of all, Spider-Man. Jonah is mad at Peter for not taking pictures of Craven. Betty is mad at Peter because Liz exists, and now Craven wants to hunt him. Peter's not having a good day. Later, Craven watches Spider-Man fight from a nearby rooftop, learning all he can about his quarry. But Spidey spots him and brings the fight to Craven sooner than he'd have liked. The hunter is on the back foot, surprised at how strong Spider-Man is, but manages to nick him with one of his special potion weapons. Spider-Man is poisoned and flees. The next morning, Peter has recovered from the poison, but can't stop his hands from shaking. He's able to hide it from his Aunt May, who has set him up on a date with some lovely niece of his neighbor. He's also able to hide it from the bitter Betty and a frugal Jonah at the Bugle, and he even runs into Craven leaving the office. But he's a laughing stock of his chemistry class when his shaking hands lead to broken test tubes. Soon Peter learns why Craven was leaving the bugle, as the headline reads, Defeat of Spider-Man imminent. The only thing he can do is bring the fight to Craven. But that is exactly what Craven's expecting. It's a trap. At night, Spider-Man finds Craven at the park, but it's a decoy Craven, and the real Craven springs a trap. While Spidey is able to avoid a net, he's momentarily distracted by a drum beat and has manacles strapped to his right arm and leg. The manacles are magnetic, and as Spider-Man tries to flee, his arm and leg are trying to pull themselves together. Using all his strength to avoid the magnetic pull, he deactivates a lamppost and plunges the park into darkness. Then, using his web fluid, he clogs the manacles, breaking the electromagnetics inside. Now it's Spider-Man's time to hunt. He finds one Craven easily, but unmasks him to discover the chameleon in disguise. And then he stalks the real Craven through the dark park with his spider signal to scare the hunter into being foolish, avoiding all the traps that Craven has, and then trapping Craven in a web. With Craven defeated, he can take the key and free himself. But he can't free himself from a terrible love life because Betty apologizes to him and asks him out that night, but he's got a date with a mystery girl. But then it turns out that mystery girl has a headache, so he tries to ring Betty, but she she just blanks him. Then he tries to ring Liz, but she's out dating Flash Thompson. So he goes, dateless, dressed as Spider-Man, to watch Craven and the Chameleon be deported. 